Yo, what's going on guys? Hunter here. Today bringing you guys a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to go over a very, very, very cool glitch in Zombies in Spaceland. Now, before we get started with this glitch, if we can hit 90 subscribers by tomorrow, that would honestly just make my day, guys. You guys beat my last subscriber goal that I did post about a few days ago, and we did beat it. So, if we, got, if we can beat this, this will be amazing. But anyways, guys, let's get started with this video. Now, first off, you are going to need a transponder. Now, you can get a transponder through one of the ticket booths. I'm pretty sure you guys know about this already. And you, can get, you guys can easily get 25 tickets just by putting Neo's head, like Neo, basically together. And basically, after you get your transponder, you just want to make your way to the site of Polar Peak. Now, once you're there, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I did post on the transponder glitch. I recommend for you guys to do watch it because that will be very helpful, but... If you guys don't know how to do it, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to the four and a half step. You guys want to move a little bit closer than, than like, basically than you were at. You want to move a bit closer to it, and then you just want to throw it, okay? But before you throw your transponder, you do want to throw a grenade and make sure that the, if, the, the, if the grenade goes through, then you can throw your transponder. Now, after you do throw your transponder, you just want to make your way up the mountain, up the roller coaster ride, and you want to basically go exactly where I do go. Now, once you re go to across the um, roller coaster ride, you go past it, then you're going to see this little tiny, like, train track area. Now, with this glitch, it is recommended for you to get racing stripes, but essentially what you want to do is you just want to run and get momentum, and you want to jump off and land on this building. Now, once you jump off and land on this building, you're basically done really with this glitch. You're basically, you can go really anywhere from this side. I have not seen any other YouTubers post anything like this, which is kind of surprising because it is fairly simple to get into. So, I am, I think I am the founder of this glitch. I really don't know though. But if you guys do use this glitch for, you, for your YouTube videos or if you guys just like use it for anything else, please mention me in the description. And, but anyways guys, that's basically it. That's how you get on top of journey into space you can do so many things in this glitch you can jump right on top of the, the go-karts area you can jump over the signs you can do many things guys which i am going to show you some video footage after this commentary but anyways guys that's basically how you get into this glitch and yeah let's get let's get out and roll the clips Alright guys, now that you guys have seen the entire footage, there it is guys, this is most of the spots you could get into, but there's so much more guys, and I will be touching more on that 
on my upcoming videos but if you, once again guys I, I think I am the founder of this glitch so if you guys do use this video for your YouTube channel or anything else please mention me in the in your description or in the video that would be much appreciation we're trying to roll this channel and like I said if we can hit the 90 subscriber like or rating that would be amazing that would honestly just make my day it did take me a while to get all this footage together and I've, I've gone to this glitch more than 30 times guys and I ain't even lying bro I, I went to this glitch many times and there's so much things you can do in this glitch and I wish I will like I said touch on later on in my future upcoming videos so anyways guys it's been 100 here don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you all on the next one peace out y'all